I'm not a Toronto based artist, I'm a jungle based artist. Come from a jungle, we had nothing, so we turned nothing to something. Before Top 5 would hit trending in Canada and pulling millions of views off his tracks, Cases, Heard of Me, Drill Some More, and others. Before Top 5 would post up with Drake, Young Thug, Juice, Lil Baby, Polo G, French Montana, Quavo, Metro, Nav, and even Birdman. Hope he didn't sign a deal with him. I mean, Birdman and them younger guys, not a good look. Before Top 5 would hit the mainstream news cycle the world over after he was arrested for accessory after the fact for murder. Rap less about the violence, because you don't want to eager somebody else to go do some retaliation. Like, rap less about violence. And we're getting to that, you know what I mean? We're getting into the industry. We're out here, we're trying to make the right records. Now we hear before they were famous, we reached out to Top 5 to work with him on his come up story a few months back. But instead, well, he decided to go and work with the local news. And he ironically stated in that interview, not all rappers are bad, I'm a good guy. I've just got to rap about things just to get up in the neighborhood. What you want to hear, I've got to rap about. Now perhaps it was an attempt to paint himself in a different light if the ops were taking a closer look at him. And by the looks of things, I think that's the case. But with Top 5, it's hard to nail down when he's playing around or if he's being serious. I mean, he was even giving our boy Friday a hard time over on We Love Hip Hop. We've interviewed everybody who's a legend. You're the one who's missing out. You're missing out. You never got a million streams on an interview. I don't care, yeah. fam. I interviewed yeah. Maestro Fresh yeah. West. Off when he started... No, don't, 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 don't raise your voice at me, man. See, that's why I don't go on IG Live. Now, top five, top five, top five. He's one of the most polarizing artists, not just in Toronto, but I'd say in the current rap game. Now has come up, it has been a long time coming with him dropping music videos as far back as 2014. Now at the time he was only 16 years old and an unexpected shout out from Drake well, would have him set his sights on making it as a legitimate artist. Now the public info about his come up, it's a little limited and probably for good reason. Now regardless, we're gonna get in on who this Toronto man is, where he came from, and most importantly, well, his recent arrest. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back on Before They Are Famous, and yeah, things are looking a little different. We also got a new merch sponsorship with Permanent Vacation, so if you like the gear, be sure to check out the link down below. We've also dropped some videos on other Toronto artists, including Pressa and Chrome Ads. You can check those out after. And uh, yeah, we got some interviews booked this week. Marlon's been doing a great job. Lots of new changes coming on the channel. All right, now let's get into this video. I don't like I don't like this in the winter. I like I like the summer when my shirt comes off. Top five was born Hassan Ali in June of 1998. How do we know that? Well, he actually did an interview with the YouTube channel Capital Culture, and this was filmed on June 21st, 2019. 21 yesterday, didn't you? Oh, for sure. They yeah. said I was gonna pass 20. Yeah, dude. What did you do for your birthday? Well, actually, let me let me stop there. What's the most important lesson you've learned in the last year? Turning 20. To get more money like. He done famous birthdays, but here before they're famous, we do our dig it. Now, Asani is from Toronto's Lawrence Heights neighborhood, an area most commonly known as Jungle. Now, it's the same jungle that Drake referenced on his album. If you're reading this, it's already too late. Now, top five, he is of Somalian descent, and I believe that he's a practicing Muslim. Now, over on Instagram, he put up a post about his boy Flippa, where the caption it read, We do our time, we come out and turn up. GGG, ain't nothing can break us, we fear Allah, nobody else. Hashtag free flip up. Now the pseudonym top five, it originated from Ali's days playing pickup basketball. I actually thought he ripped it off from me because way back in the day, I actually used to run a top five channel. Eh, probably not. Speaking about his moniker, in an interview with Vice, Ali stated that people used to look at me and be like, he's top five this, top five that. Now as a youngster, his initial plan was to be a baller, but he realized in high school that he wasn't gonna ever make it to the NBA. Like he ain't that tall of a glass of water, if you know what I mean. So he had to kind of figure out what else he was good at. Now his initial plan with music, it started out as more of a joke, him just goofing around, which brings us to Shirt Off Shoddy. Shirt Off Shoddy, Shirt Off Shoddy. Uh, see, that's why I got Marlon in here. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the video, well, it's a Toronto classic with Top 5 rapping and dancing around the city with his friend, Troy. Now, both of them, they were not wearing a shirt. And Shirt Off Shoddy, well, it was released on August 14, 2014, and it rose to roughly 2,000 views in the first few days. Then on December 12, 2014, well, Drake, he posted this picture to his Instagram account, and the video's popularity, it took off from there. Today, it's got around 175,000 views. 
Now, according to Top 5, well, he and Drake, they became friends after Top 5 was witness to the rapper visiting his neighborhood from time to time. Now, with Drake's verse on Party Next Door's over here, well, Drake, he mentions that he'll go to jungle, pick up my Ethiopian goddess. Which, according to Top 5, well, it's pretty spot on for how they first met. We had Drake here live in the summer. Since meeting Drake, I've been getting a lot of girls to take the shirt off of me. Drake's my dog. It's the OVO right here. Drake's my dog. And from there on out, well, Top 5, he had some serious clout for a kid still in high school. So much so that he never ended up graduating from Vaughn Road Academy. He explained why to Friday in their We Love Hip Hop pre-interview video. Which is probably an interview that just ain't gonna happen now. I never graduated high school. But when I was in high school, I used to get A+. Plus. I just dropped up because, yo, fam, I just used to get my dick sucked every day. I was tired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Outside of that, he was also networking hard, taking pictures with NBA players and every rapper when they came to town. Now, sometimes he would wear a shirt, and sometimes, well, he just wouldn't. He was the shirt off shouty. Now, speaking on the inspiration behind taking off his shirt, which is something he became famous for, well, top five, he told Noisy. It all started in 2013 at the OVO Bounce Tournament when Brandon Jennings took his shirt off. I was gonna take a picture with him and then I decided to take off my shirt and the whole crowd started going crazy. We posted that pic and since that day, it's been shirt off shouty. I took a picture with Drake with my shirt off and that was only my second time meeting Drake. Now top five, he got some early love from OVO and Six Buzz and he was getting a lot of attention when he would go to Yorkdale or the Eaton Center. There were fans everywhere stopping him to ask for pictures. Now more music videos would follow like Hall of Fame in 2015 and Shirt Off Any Block and Who Gon' Do It in 2016. Besides picking up tons of clout and knowledge about the music industry, well he also began to learn how to grow a fan base online and become a viral hit for his honest callouts via Instagram Live. Now he would diss rival rappers even to the point where his own family's lives well they were put in danger. Now you can search on YouTube for his IG live moments and some of these re-uploads, they get thousands of views on their own. Now his antics while filming music videos, they also picked up media attention when he was pulled over on the side of the road while filming on the 401 in a G-Wagon. Let's take a look. <laughs> Be it his music, his polarizing personality, or his growing Rolodex of industry contacts, well, everyone was starting to hear more and more about Top 5. Not just in Toronto, even DJ Academics, well, he was chatting with him on live via Twitch and IG. And then out of nowhere, well, he appeared on the local news talking about how his rap persona was a fabrication just so he could help sell his music. Rap less about the violence, because you don't want to eager somebody else to go do some retaliation, like, rap less about violence. And we're getting to that, you know what I mean? We're getting into the industry. We're out here, we're trying to make the right records. Then there was just this past weekend, a video would hit the web of a number of inmates being filmed inside a Toronto detention center. And somehow this is apparently, allegedly linked to top five. Now it's been said that this phone that the guards that they apprehended, well, it contained some information with incriminating evidence that led to top five's arrest. Now top five, he was arrested in Windsor, Ontario in connection to the death of Hashim Omar Hashi. And Hashi, he was shot and killed as he tried to enter an underground parking garage on January 31st, 2020, which happened in the area of Jane Street and Falstaff Avenue just before 9 p.m. Now his lawyer, he maintains his innocence and said there is still a lot of information surrounding the arrest that the public isn't aware of. He was also arrested alongside another man, 24-year-old Emmanuel Misa, and I believe they have similar charges. So far, Ali, he's been charged with two counts of failure to comply with probation, as well as three counts of possession of a controlled substance, and that's for the purpose of trafficking. Now, Ali, he's also been charged with possession items valued at over 5,000 that were obtained by the police. Now, he's expected to appear in court, well, actually today. So, there's gonna be more news. And uh, I really wish he just collabed with us because we could have told a much more heartwarming story. Instead, while well, the kid's in trouble. Uh, I don't know, depends on how you feel about all this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what to say. You know, if he committed this crime, he, he deserves to be locked away. But if he's innocent, which I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if he is. Well, if he is, I hope he's free. And then he can uh, terrorize us on Instagram. I don't just play. All right, guys, my name is Michael Credden. It's great to be back on the channel. Be sure to check out our other channels like Famous News, where we drop daily videos, keeping you guys up to date on everything trending. Also, uh, hit on that uh, subscribe button if you haven't done so already here before they're famous. All right, I'm getting out of here. Check out the, the merch as well. Okay, see you later. Bye.